And you see my title in my thing. Hello, 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 hello. It's a great day. It's a great day with Purposefully Positive with D Vibes. We are moving on. We are going further into our future that God has for us. We are not worrying about the past. We are moving on. We are moving on. Hello, Darmisha, Misha, Monet, Misha, Misha, and little Ava. How are you doing on this positive, beautiful, blessed Saturday day? Hope that you all are smiling. Hope you are moving on from the past. That's our opening song today, Moving On With The Past. Starting this live thing with Purposefully Positive with me, your host, D-Vibes. Hopefully you will leave this broadcast smiling more than you were when you came in. So today, we are going to talk about being broke, being broken, being happy, and how happiness is an attitude. So, being broke, being broken, being happy, and how happiness is an attitude. All right? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Comment on that. Have you ever felt broke, Misha, Monet? Have you ever felt broken? Have you ever just looked at that brokenness as a happy thing or as a positive thing? Brokenness, brokenness. And I heard, I saw this quote the other day and I actually posted it on a Facebook page that said, yeah, let me know, Misha, is the music too loud? Is it okay? All right. Um, it actually said, have you ever been broke and nobody believes you because you don't look like a broke person? Hmm. So you know they got my wheels to turning, right? Because every time I see a good quote, it makes me think about something that I can talk about on my podcast or either on here. Uh, so brokenness. Why is it that we have to look broke when we're broken? Why is it that our outer appearance has to look like we feel on the inside. Why can't we look at the positive, even through the brokenness? Why do people expect us to look broke when we're broke? Why do people expect us to look broke? Why do they expect us to look like we're broken or going through something? We can go through something and still look blessed, still look positive, still be positive, still be happy. Do you believe that? I do. Let me tell you what the scripture says about it. Zephaniah 3 and 17 says we were broken. We are broken. But God still takes great delight in us. He rejoices over us with singing. So God loves us no matter what. No matter what's around us. No matter what we're going through. No matter what we've done. How broken we may be at that moment. God still loves us. He loves us just that much. So why should we let our brokenness or when we're going through a valley season make us look like we're broke? Especially if we serve a high, all-powerful God, then we should not look broke in the least bit. Not in the least bit. We should always be happy and have a positive attitude. And in everything that happens to you, to me, to them, we should find something positive in it. Because guess what? No matter what we're going through, it could always be worse. Somebody on the other side is always going through something a lot worse than you are. Believe it. <laughs> Believe it, my friends. So have you ever heard anyone say, I don't look like where I've been, or I'm glad I don't look like what I've been through? Well, how are you supposed to look if, you, if, you, if you've been through something? Are you supposed to look run down just because you've been through something? Hey, Tamika, me, me. Uh, are you supposed to look like that? I don't think so. Just because I'm going through something, I'm not supposed to look like I'm beat up and beat down. No, no, because whatever I'm going through, that's going to be my testimony for the next person. Whatever you're going through, that's going to be your testimony for the next person. Because you got a testimony, guess what? If you're still here, that means you're making it. You're making it. You're not where you used to be. So that means you shouldn't be looking like what you've been through. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. So, why is it that if we're going through a broke season that people expect us to look broke down? I want to hear your comments. I want to see your comments. Comment down there. Why do you think that is, that people think that we should look broke? It's an attitude. It's a mindset thing. You do know happiness is an attitude, right? 
I told you that happiness is an attitude. Happiness is a choice. So either I'm gonna choose to be happy, I'm gonna choose to be depressed, I'm gonna choose to be sad, I'm gonna choose to be positive. My thing is, I'm choosing to be positive every day. No matter what happens, no matter what I go through, no matter what valley situation I be, may be facing at the moment, whatever it is, I'm choosing to, to be positive. I'm choosing to look at the brighter side of things. You know, uh, like I said in my, I think in my podcast the other day, just think about this. You could wake up one day, get all dressed up, ready to go to work. You might be running a little behind or you may not be. But then all of a sudden you go out there to start your car up, warm your car up in the garage, and then you notice you got a flat tire. Mm, mm, mm. Then you could say, start cussing this and that, this and that, you know, just let that ruin your entire day. But instead of doing that, Think about the positive in that situation. You got a flat tire. Yes, you're stranded. But think about this. Where are you stranded at? You're stranded at home, right? Which you could have been stranded on the highway, stranded on the expressway, stranded on the side of the road, you know, and then having to get a tow truck to come and get you and move your car or fix your flat. But you're stranded at home, right? So that flat happened at home. So the positive side is it that is that you're at home and not stranded in the outside. See, see, see how that mindset changed that whole situation. We gotta start looking at everything in a positive light. It's a mindset, it's a mindset. Anything that happens bad to you, I want you to start doing this. When you have a bad day start off, start looking at the positive. Find something positive in that situation. Find something positive in that moment. Find something positive with whatever is going on, with whatever is, you know, is happening to you. That's right. God keeping you from a wreck or anything. You know, you could have just passed by a wreck and thought, oh man, I was supposed to be at that position right then. And I didn't. Just like when you sitting at a light, which this has happened to me right around the corner from my house, you can be sitting at a light. Your light is red at the moment. But then when your light changes green, and you don't move, for some reason, you don't move right when the light changes green. And then the next few minutes, you see this big 18-wheeler fly through the light. That happened to me recently. Recently, all I could say was, thank you, Jesus. Because if I had went out there at that moment, I could have got smacked by that 18-wheeler. But God, but God, that's a but God moment. Have you ever had any but God moments? Have you ever had any but God moments to where you look at it and then when it happens, after it happens, you know, the first thing out of your mouth is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That wasn't me. Thank you, Lord. I didn't get hit by that truck. That's a but God moment. That's a but God moment. You know, you might not have realized it then, but that's a but God moment. A but God moment. Yes, it is. So everything that happens to us, it doesn't happen unless God allows it. But the thing is, <laughs> it's not the event or the situation, or the, the bad thing that happens to you, but it's how you act, how you react to the situation that makes all of the difference. So think about that, remember that. It's not the situation, it's not the event, it's not, you know, this mishap that happens to you, this loss that happened to you, it could be a relationship, the loss of a family member, uh, a loss of a job, you know, but it's not that situation that happens to you. It's how you react to the situation that makes all of the difference. You could go all crazy going off on people because this is happening to you, changing your attitude, getting out of character just because you're going through a bad situation. But why do that? Is that going to make it any better? No, because guess what? What is it? Life, life, life. I say it all the time. This thing called life, and life. Every one of us has to go through life. And this life that you and I are going through is a test. Every day is a test. Every day is a test. Did you know that? So it's up to you whether you're going to pass the test or fail the test. What are you going to do? Are you going to make it a positive test or a negative test? Huh? Huh? Think about that. Life. 
it's a test every day. Every day you need to wake up on the right side of the bed. Don't say you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and you got a bad attitude today. You in a bad mood. Uh-uh. I'm not taking that. Mm -mm. That's just an excuse of how you're acting. Yeah, you can wake up feeling in a bad mood and not feeling it and not feeling handling the job today. But guess what? Don't let that moment right there ruin your entire day. Just because one bad thing happens to you doesn't mean the rest of your life is ruined. You got to find something positive in every situation, every second of your life. This moment right here, I need you to embrace it. Embrace your life. Wherever you are right now in your life, I need you to embrace that moment. Embrace it and love on it. You know, have faith in you that whatever it is, it's going to get better. Your blessings are already here. You just got to receive them. You just got to open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your spirit to receive all of the wonderful things God has for you. And guess what? Even if you believe, that doesn't mean you're not going to have a bad day. It doesn't mean bad stuff is not going to happen to you because it is. That's what we have to realize. We're going to go through some bad times. Yes, we are. That's just a part of life. But how you react to those bad times, that's the thing. How you react to those bad times. Are you going to react in a good way or a negative way? Are you going to react in a positive way or a negative way? You know, tell me, how are you going to have, how are you going to react to it? You know, is your attitude going to be a happy one every day? I choose to be happy every day. I choose to be happy every day. Happiness is a choice. Being positive is a choice. This is Positive Vibes with D-Vibes. So I'm here to spread positivity to you, to help you to smile each day, to help you to smile just a little bit better, a little bit more. Smile. When you wake up in the morning, thank you, Lord. Tell the Lord thank you for one more day. Because guess what? It wasn't promised to you. Today wasn't promised to you. So the fact that we woke up to see one more day, you should be smiling at that fact. You should look up and smile at God because he is smiling on you because he blessed you with one more glorious day. Do you not realize that? So many people didn't make it to see today, but we are still here. So you should be smiling for that simple fact that you made it one more day. You made it. You made it. You may not be where you want to be right now, but guess what? I can guarantee you, you're not where you used to be. You're a lot better than you used to be. Like I always say, do something each day to grow yourself. Each day, in 24 hours, in each day, I need you to find something in those 24 hours that's going to grow your mind, grow your spirit, grow you, make you a better person. Because guess what? You can only be the best at being you. So stop trying to be like the next person. Why? God created you to be you. He created you to be you. He created you to be you. So stop worrying about the next person over there. They can't be you, even though they may be trying to be you undercover. You don't even realize it. You got haters all around you. But guess what? Block it out. Block it out. Block it out. God is looking at you being the best you that you can be. He's not worried about you being somebody else because he didn't create you to be the next person. He created you to be you, the best you. So you need to remember that, realize that. Each day, do something to be the best at being Mimi. Each day, do something to be the best at being Misha Monet. You know what? Each day, wake up with that mindset, that positivity in your mind saying, today, I'm going to be the, be the best me today. Today, I'm going to be the best at being me. Say it with an attitude. Look in the mirror every morning and say, I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to do something today to grow me. And then spread that growth around to other people. Your positivity is, is contagious. Did you know that? Your happiness is contagious. I need you to be so happy that other people want to be happy just like you. They want some of that happy. They want some of that happy that you have. So you need to look happy. Even if you're feeling broke right now, even if you're going through something, I need you to smile because you're beautiful. You're awesome. You're smart. God created you to be great. Greatness is in your DNA. Did you already know that? It's already in your DNA. So stop acting like you're not great. You are great. No matter what the next person says or does to you, you're already great. <laughs> it's already predestined for you to be great. 
So stop acting like you're not great. Yeah, so what? You had a bad day yesterday. So what? You failed at this first project. So just because you failed at one thing, you're going to stay down and not keep trying? Uh-uh, God cr didn't create you to be that way. You better get yourself back up, dust your shoulders off, and try again. Try even more. What you failed at the first time, let that be a learning lesson. Let it be a lesson that the next time you know what not to do and you know what to do the next time. But keep trying. I need you not to quit, not to give up. I need you to keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Remember, like I always say, every day is not going to be a positive day. It's not, no, it's not going to be a perfect day. Let me change that. Every day is not going to be a perfect day. But guess what? It can be positive on purpose. All right? So I'm getting ready to play our Going Out song, which is my song I love by our organist at church, our musician that he made. And it goes perfect with what I like, positive vibes. So I want you all to vibe with me on this Going Out song. Only good vibes only. Only good vibes only. Can y'all hear that? I want you to think about this song today. Only leave that mess at home. Tell them, don't bring that mess around you. Leave it at home. I need you to go everywhere being positive. Share those positive vibes everywhere. Remember, brokenness does not mean that it's the end of the world. Hey, you can still be positive and be broke. You can still look fly and be broke. Because God created you to be great and you are a great person and you better believe it and receive it. Good vibes only. Only good vibes only. Y'all better remember it. Y'all better receive it. Receive it. Believe it. No negative energy on positive vibes. We are only about positivity. And I'm here to make you smile, to make you be more positive, to share those positive vibes with everybody. Only good vibes only. Y'all better recognize. Only good vibes only. Yeah, I go through bad days, but hey, I can't let those bad days keep me down. Because I know I have a God that's going to bring me through just like he brought me to. And y'all better realize that. Believe it. Receive it. Yeah. Positive family. Positive energy. That's what I'm all about. I need you to smile. And what does this sign say in the back? Be awesome today. Yeah. Because guess what? You are already awesome. So you better be awesome today. Be awesome today and every day. Embrace that moment right here. Embrace that moment right here. All right? Only good vibes only. Only good vibes only. Y'all got to remember that. Be blessed. Be a blessing to others. Do something to grow yourself always. Thank you all for joining the live. Please share the live. Share the positivity. Like the page. Visit my podcast, Positive Vibes with D-Vibes. Hey. It's all about being positive. It's all about being positive. So, I want you to enjoy the rest of your day being blessed and being a blessing to others. Keep smiling, sharing those smiles with everyone. Remember, be the best you. You can be always. Do something each day to grow yourself. And remember, every day is not going to be perfect, but it can be positive on purpose. All right. So that means you have the power to make it positive. Happiness and positivity. It's a choice. So what choice are you making in your life? This thing called life. Until next time, this is D-Vibes. Keep smiling, my beautiful people. And I will see you on the next Purposefully Positive with D-Vibes.